The 74-year-old says he is heartbroken he can't step in to help his estranged daughter heal her relationship with the Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan Markle's estranged father Thomas has begged her to heal her rumored rift with the Duchess of Cambridge. Speculation has been rife that Kate Middleton and the Duchess of Sussex have fallen out over Meghan's behavior and attitude towards royal staff. The rumors came amid allegations Meghan, 37, made sister-in-law Kate, 36, cry in the lead-up to her wedding in May. But Thomas, who has not spoken to his daughter since she married Prince Harry, says it just doesn't sound like the Meghan he knows. The 74-year-old says he is heartbroken he can't step in to help the two royal wives repair their relationship. He told the son, if there is any animosity between Meghan and Kate they should put their differences aside. I'm very upset by the criticism Meghan is getting. I don't think she deserves it and I don't think she is doing one-third of the things she is being accused of doing. Despite their rumor drift. Meghan and Kate both beamed and chatted happily when arriving for the traditional Royal Christmas Day service at Sandringham in Norfolk. The united front came as the Queen pleaded for goodwill to all in her annual festive speech. But there was no hint of animosity between the pair as they waved at onlookers who had gathered to watch the royal party arrive at the church. At one point, Meghan even placed her hand on her sister-in-law's back to guide her along the path. Thomas added, I don't believe that Meghan is trying to hurt. Kate, in any shape or form. But at the moment I cannot call Meghan and say what is going on. How can I help you? I need to know what the hell is happening and why it is happening. I need to know why she is being bashed every day. Mr. Markle, who will be grandfather to the Duke and Duchess' first baby, due in the spring, said what should be one of the proudest moments of his life has become a nightmare. He said the eight-month wall of silence from his daughter and the royals is causing endless heartache and misery for his family. He told the son, the royals and Meghan can help end this nightmare by simply giving me a call. To this day, I cannot think of anything I've done to deserve how I'm being treated now. I've been a good father I've done nothing wrong. Axe murderers kill 19 people and their daughters still come and visit them in prison. It's just incomprehensible for Meghan to treat me this way. Meanwhile, Meghan has been forced to holding meetings with her closest confidants to discuss how to deal with her father after he publicly begged the Queen to help heal their rift. Pleading for the Queen to get involved, Thomas, previous said, I would appreciate anything she could do. I would think she would want to resolve family problems. All families, royal or otherwise, are the same and they should all be together certainly around the holidays. Palace sources said the royal household had become enraged and yet exhausted with Thomas and believe he has gone a step too far by trying to draw the Queen into the row. A senior palace source said, The Queen is a dignified woman. Even if she disagreed with the way her grandson's wife or indeed her staff were dealing with the matter, she would certainly not become involved on this level. Courtiers are also said to be deeply concerned about Thomas's vow to carry on making public statements in a bid to reconnect with pregnant Meghan. In the Good Morning Britain interview last month, Thomas said, I've been trying to reach out to her for several weeks. Every day I try to text her. I just haven't received any comment back. I just keep asking her to respond back to me. I haven't got any response back. I've sent a letter as well. Thomas has not spoken to Meghan since he colluded with paparazzi for money before her wedding in May. He said, for that incident I've apologized 100 times for that. I don't feel that that's worthy of being shunned or ghosted. That's ridiculous. Thomas even went so far as to accuse the royals of uncouth behavior. Speaking of a letter he wrote to Meghan, he said, I also pointed out the royals haven't always been perfectly behaved. I wrote that I've never played pool naked, nor have I dressed up as a Nazi. The outburst was in reference to Harry being pictured nude in Vegas in 2012 and dressed as a Nazi in 2005. Thomas wants to make contact before Meghan gives birth. He said, there has to be a place for me. I'm her father and I will be the grandfather to the children, so all I can say is that I'm here, she knows it. I'm certainly hoping that everything goes well and they produce a beautiful baby and I'll get to see a little Meghan or little Harry. That would be very nice and I look forward to that. I think she'll make a great mum and maybe things will soften a little bit and we'll connect again. I've reached out to her and I need her to reach back to me. I love her very much. Thomas who lives in the U.S. border town Rosarito in Mexico, said he didn't hear from his daughter over Christmas. He added, 
On Christmas Day I visited some friends and received a lot of phone calls from every relative I have, except my daughter. I was prepared for it. Instead, Mr. Markle spent Christmas Day at a makeshift refugee camp in Rosarito. He was pictured handing out toys and other Christmas presents to children living in poverty just 200 meters from the U.S.-Mexico border.